Okay, so the question often happens in companies, who can actually see my files? Who can see the company's files? So if you've got a normal file and you've got this folder over here called sexy folder, and you look at the share here, right now it is shared with anyone on the internet. Okay, anyone with this link can actually look at it, which depending on what's actually inside here, it might be confidential, it might be a problem to actually have that. We are going to look at two things here. The first thing we're going to do, and let's open up a command prompt. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at what's actually happening in our company. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see, for example, if there is a person in your company called Jim, we're going to run this. So we're gonna say gam user Jim, print a file list with ID, title and permissions as the heading and push that to the drive. Let's just copy that. And what you'll see in here is that anything that has permissions in this drive, it will show us. So we've got a little bit bigger. Yeah. So it says here, this one, okay, so it's got the ID over there, then it's got the other well, owner over there, then the ID and the name, and then it says permissions, two, one, two, two, and things like that. So this one says it's called private document that should not be shared. And if we go and look over here, it says anyone with a link. So that means that Jim, damn it, has shared a file that is called, this should not be shared with everyone on the internet, okay? So now you can look through it and you can see, okay, well, Jim's got full control of that one. Um, Michael actually owns that one and Jim owns that one. So now we've got a little bit more of an idea of it. So we can go and shout to Jim and we can go and say, sort your stuff out. Or if you're one of those admin people that actually wants to shout to Jim yourself, or you don't want to shout to Jim and you want to actually just do stuff to protect your company immediately, this is what you could do. Under here, I'll put this link in the description. And we have got GAM Scripts 3. This is made by Ross Scroggs again. So if you go into his normal GitHub here, this is Ross Scroggs and you got GAM ADV XT3 and you got GAM Scripts 3. So under GAM Scripts 3, we have got this one called Get Shared with, with Anyone Drive ACLs and it is Python script. Now, this Python script is quite simple. It's going to do some fun things for you, but let's just go through it in simple steps and let's just go through it one step at a time. So let's go to raw first and I'm gonna say control A and copy that and I'm gonna open up a notepad and I'm gonna paste it in there. Okay, so there is my Python file. I'm going to then go back here and I'm going to just copy this Python name and I'm gonna say file save as. I'm not gonna put it into the XCD3 folder. I'm gonna put it in my GAM work folder and I'm gonna say, call it that and say save and say replace because I've actually done this before. You can see behind the curtain now. And here you go. So the first couple of things at the top of this Python script are basically just comments. Now, the reason why the comments are here is Ross has actually put this up here to explain how to actually run this. What it's going to be doing here is we're going to run three or four steps. The first step is the first one here, get ACLs for all the files. If you don't want all the users, replace all users with your user selection and command below. You can minimize the number of files downloaded by using this blah, blah, blah. If you've got basic GAM, so if you're on normal GAM, you would use this. If you've got GAM ADV, you would use this. So let's grab this. I'm gonna push shift and home just to copy that and open up a notepad. If I make this a little bit bigger so that you can see it all in one line, Let's just do this and remove this first part. Okay. So your gam config auto batch min one, which basically says go through it in one step at a time, redirect the CSV to this file list perms.csv, multi process, so do a whole bunch of processes at the same time, otherwise it takes too long. All users print file list fields. ID, title, permissions, owners, email address, and then put a query here. So now that isn't actually part of the thing. It is this over here. So Ross is saying that if you want to make it simpler, so instead of doing your entire company with all the files, you can actually say, you can do queries. So query, visibility anyone can find or visibility anyone with link. Um, so that is true. So if you did this whole thing and you copied that, you would then put that in there. 
What I actually would like to do is I'd like to find only this part over here. The visibility, anyone with the link. So I'm going to say copy that. And put that there. And say query, visibility, anyone with a link. So we can put that to the side. And let's open up my command prompt again. We are going to push out into our Gamwork folder a file called filelistperms.csv. So let's do that, paste that in, and push enter. Now, because we are doing all users, I've got nine users in my domain here, so it's going to do all of them. If you have a lot of users and you run this, it might take a very, very long time. So we are looking for this file, file list perms, inside GAM work folder. So here is file list perms, and this is my GAM work folder. So I can obviously upload this to Google Workspace, into the Google Sheets if I wanted. What I'm actually going to do is open this with Excel because I'm on my, on my local computer, and I'd just like to show you what's actually happening inside this. Okay. What it's saying in this file is this. There are two things. There are two files that are actually available. The first thing is the heading over here. So we'll do that just now. And the second one is that file. And the second one is that file. To be honest, that's actually not a file. That's actually a folder, but we'll play around with that just now. So let's just go here and say data, text to columns, delimited, comma, next, finish. Okay, so that's easier to read now. So it is saying that in the folder admin, so in my admin folder, there is an ID of that. There is a thing called sexy folder. There are one owner, which is me, which is fine. Allow file discovery is false. Okay. But this permission over here is anyone with a link. And the permission is that anyone with a link can read it. They can't edit it, but they can read it. And that is anyone. And that is that. So the second one is in a gym. Also with a ID, there's a private document that should not be shared. That also says anyone with a link. So the reason why I wanted to show you that, I'm not going to save that, is the next step that we're actually going to, it's going to take that CSV file and make it a little bit easier to read. So going back to the Python script here, we have done that. We've done up until then. Then from this list of ACLs, output a CSV file with the headers owner, drive file ID, drive file title, permission ID, role, and allow file discovery. So it's going to take this CSV and it's actually going to convert it into a new CSV with this Python script here. So Python 3, get shared with anyone Python. So that's the file that we're actually looking at now. File list perms.csv, delete perms.csv. So it's going to take the file list perms that we've already made and output a CSV called delete perms. And that's probably permissions. We're still in the GAM work folder. And please make sure that when you are running this, well, the Python file is actually in the same directory that you're going to run the script from. Let's paste that in there and push enter. Nothing actually happened. Well, nothing says that it happened. But if you go and look here in the GAM work folder, you have this new file called delete perms here. So if we double click on this, open in Excel again, you can see it's much simpler to look at now. So I'm going to say data, same thing again. And now it's zoomed in. So now you see what it's actually done is it's taken all the data that was in the first file, changed that heading to owner, then drive file ID, drive file title, permission ID, role, allow file discovery. So it's changed it a little bit, but it's made it simpler to read. So now what Ross is suggesting in the Python script is go through this now and say, are all of these okay to be shared with anyone? If they are, perfect. Then delete them from here. So if this one's supposed to not be here, go to that line and say delete. Okay. If it is supposed to be here, leave it there. I'm going to leave both of them here because I actually would like to delete every single permission of anyone sharing outside of my domain because I, I don't want it. People have been sharing outside of my domain for years and I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. Ah. Anyway, um, where was I? Yes. So I'm going to leave both of them in there. Because what's going to happen in the next step, and I'm not going to save this, because I'm going to leave it as, as that CSV. What's going to happen in the next step is this thing that says inspect this first to make sure that you're happy with them. And if you don't want anything to be deleted, then remove it from here. Then we're going to run this particular command. Copy and paste. Now, all of these things with a little tilde in front of them, what that means is, is that we're looking at headers of the CSV. So in that CSV that we just opened, there was a header called owner. And this tilde is now saying, look at the header 
for owner in that CSV. And the CSV we're looking at is delete perms.csv here. Then look at drive file ID and permission ID. So what we could actually do is we could do it all manually. We could actually say gam user owner. So that could be Jim or admin or whoever we're dealing with. Delete the file ACL and then the ID of the file. That's what we're replacing there. And then permission ID, which we're doing there. That's what we're actually doing is we're actually going to run this. It's going to look at the CSV and whatever's left in the CSV, it's then going to delete those permissions from those drives. So let's push enter. And it says here, user admin, one file ACL deleted, user gym, one file ACL deleted. And you can see the exact ones that have been deleted here. So now if I actually ran this thing again, which is what we ran right at the beginning and said, show me anyone in my domain that has shared stuff externally, it should bring up a CSV now. And you see, because we are running it back into that file list perms, this is the file list perms again, if I double click on it, opens it in Excel, and you'll see that nothing is now shared with anyone on the internet. So that is really a scorched earth kind of thing. If you really want to be able to do this and say, I don't want anyone in my company to ever have anyone with a link sharing out, then you can do it. If you need to have certain things still shared out, you can do it like this. If you want more control and you want to give your, your staff permission and to look at what's shared outside and make decisions based on this, and you want to be able to do this for yourselves, there's a product called Tricent, and I suggest you look at that. And with Tricent, we can actually look at permissions and who's sharing stuff outside and make sure sharing much more secure. And actually, you understand as an as a admin or as a CEO or as an owner of your company that this is how you can actually make it more secure for your particular staff. If you do have any questions, please reach out. Thanks so much.